Hey, good morning, Mark. So when parents and teachers and school psychologists all come to that agreement that a student does have a learning difference, that's when they get that ball rolling and they start off with an IEP or an individual education program. So through that IEP, that's when they determine whether the student will be able to go to normal classes, typical classroom setting, or will not have to go to a special ed classroom. Now, most of the time through officials at, though officials at TUSD say they try to keep students in those general classes to better help them acclimate. Officials say the start of the school year is the most vital when it comes to noticing whether or not students might have these learning differences. This is the most important time. We know that during the, the summertime, students um, oftentimes forget about school. And so there's a little bit of regression that happens. And so students, the first couple of weeks of school, it takes a while for them to get back into the swing of things. Um, but this is a time to keep really up on how your student is doing, if it seems like it's taking longer for them to get back into the swing. Before moving forward with an IEP, TUSD does also check students' vision and hearing in order to make sure those issues aren't affecting them and aren't the problem when it comes to them learning in the classroom. Now, TUSD does have a 45-day adjustment period for students who are either new to the district or are moving between schools within the district where they make sure that those students aren't having any issues in the classroom, make sure everything's okay with their learning process. Reporting live in Midtown, Veronica Costa, Kega 9 on your side.